Yo, welcome back, welcome back. And today I want to talk about my week's progress within my Forex trading account, my evaluation account, and how my week has gone, what was my mentality, what was I thinking, and how was I processing all my trades. So basically, this week has been really good, man. Like, it has been one of my best weeks ever. I would say it, it, it was my best week ever. I've never had a more profitable week than this week. So basically, right, I passed my phase one about like two weeks ago. And uh, because of that, I started getting greedy. You know how that feeling is when you have passed and you saw that your progress is actually going. You're progressing, you're making money and you just feel like you're on the top of the world. So that's why I felt. I felt that once I passed that phase one, the path has already like it's already clear all i have to do is just pass phase two with like one or two trades and then i'm done i, I have a funded account that's what all, that's what i was thinking you know i thought all i needed to do was just pass phase two and that's all so i started risking a lot of money last week i it was one of my worst weeks i lost i made $150 on Monday and that was like really good because I was up 150 so I was just like all right I'm gonna take more trades all I need is one or two trades and I'm, I'm gone mind you I risk $25 per trade so that's 0.5% of my account I do not risk 1% each trade I only risk $25 and I target a 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5. Anything between that. So I can risk $25 and make 180 or higher. It depends. But when I got that 150, right, I was like, I, I am up in profit. I'm just going to risk more money the next day. And let's just see how it goes. Boom. The next day I lost like $50 and I was yeah I was all emotional and everything because of my trades on Monday I trade both the euro USD and the USD JPY so I got like one to four on each of them on Monday so I was up 150 and then Tuesday I was like I I can make it back I can make money placed another trade lost it the next day on Wednesday, I think I lost like $70 or something. It was very bad. Thursday, I kept a little bit calm, said I'm not going to risk too much. Still lost money. And on Friday, I lost another 90 Yeah, it was a 90 So yeah, that entire week was just bad for me. That was just bad. Like, But it was a really like good learning curve because i understood what i was doing wrong what what is holding me back and what are my flaws you know so i just sat down like started writing down everything i was doing wrong first of all i wasn't really waiting like i wasn't being patient about my setup my strategy basically right i wait for a sweep of liquidity break of market structure then retracement into a confluence but what I was doing wrong, right? I wasn't sitting down and waiting for that break of market structure. And even if it breaks, I don't wait to see proper displacement, you know? So I sat down, wrote that down, wrote the issue, wrote that I was over trading, over leveraging. I was always constantly checking my trades, like after every single tick. I'm just there watching. I can sit down like for a whole like 30 minutes just watching the chart going up and down. Like I would exit the app, come back in, like just checking my trades constantly, which was very bad. Like I knew it was very bad for my health and everything and my mentality. Why was I doing it? Because yeah, I was too attached to the trade, too attached to the money that's the, the profit that I'm in. And because I was scared of my trades, I was taking low probability trades, even though I know that I can catch high probability trades, I was still taking low probability trades. So I sat down and wrote all those things down. I was like, I need to improve myself. I need to like 
get better trades and, and whatever I'm doing is just wrong. So over the weekend, I wrote them down, back tested my strategy, like knew what I was doing wrong, like reviewed all my trades, told, like gave myself proper advice like did some men like did some meditation all of that like anything that's gonna help me right anything that's gonna make me better you know i did it so yeah i tried to improve everything i was doing wrong even though i'm not perfect right now i still solved like i feel like i solved a lot of it at least for this week you know so this week has been completely different like, look at the coincidence. I had a really bad week, and then a really good week after that. Like, that was just crazy, you know? So, yeah, I started taking better trades. I sat down, waited for everything to form within my strategy, my setup. I wouldn't take any low probability trades. I even didn't trade for a whole day when I saw that I didn't find any trade, any setup. I didn't trade it. I didn't enter any single trade. I, I I controlled myself, told myself that this prop from right, this this account, once I get it, like you have it, bro. You 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 can you just have to get the payouts. Once you start getting your payouts, that's it. Of course I've never passed a funded account. I've never passed a prop from challenge. I've never gotten funded. I blew one account before and this is my second prop from account. So I want to take it slow. I want to actually know what I'm doing. I don't want to just be risking anything. I, I, like, I'm taking it slow. I bought this account like a month ago. The first account, the first phase, I passed it in two weeks. And now it's almost two weeks and I'm almost passing it. I'm almost going to pass this account. This week, I made $300. After all the drawdown I was in, I was in minus $200, man, like drawdown. So I made it back because i took better trades i was calm about what, what i was doing i wasn't doing any risky trades man I, I i did better so i just want to show you like the best trade that i took why i took it and my mentality how i was thinking if i was patient like everything i did within that trade so let's just take a look at the trade man so if you take a look at my trading journal right here you can see that the market was in a constant bullish trend so I had a confluence that the market was going to come in, tap into this uh, fair value gap and within this order block range and then start buying, right? My bias was it's going to go up both on the daily and the four hour. I was pretty bullish. So all I had to do was just go down into the 15 minute or five minute, any lower time frame, honestly, and find a perfect entry. So the first thing that I noticed, right, was that, first of all, we were going into the London session. And right when the London session formed, it created this sweep of liquidity right here. That was the first thing I noticed. And I was like, all right, the second thing I'm going to wait for is for the market to break structure and displace to the upside. And it just does that. And it just does that perfectly. It just comes up, breaks structure displaces so now i was just waiting for the retracement into this range first of all i marked out my uh ranges you can see right here that this is the 50 percent level so let's just mark that out right here this is the 50 percent level so what's beneath that was beneath that 50% level. First of all, there's a fair value gap. And an order block. So there's a fair value gap, an order block. And also, I forgot to mention that there's an optimal trade entry right here, right within this order block, right there. So I was like, I, right. all my confluences are checked. All I need to do is place the trade. So I entered right about there, like somewhere around there. 
and placed my stop below the order block and targeted this high nothing more than that just i targeted this high caught a really beautiful trade this was more of a one to five actually so i wasn't targeting any swing highs actually because the market created equal highs right here so i was like wondering maybe the market might come and take them out and then flip to the other side because of that and that was just exactly what it did and then just constantly and it just kept on going downwards so yeah i just targeted this swing high from here to here caught a beautiful trade and that was it that's all i had to do back then in the past i wouldn't really wait for a break of structure i would like when the market creates this fair value gap right here right i'll just be like i right, i'm gonna enter sometimes it does work but sometimes it doesn't i would enter right here right and be trailing my stop loss it'd be moving high I'll, I'll just be trailing it and then when the market does this move right here i get stopped out that's it i've lost my trade something that i could have been profitable off i lost my trade so i just said i'm not going to be trading these moves but i would wait for a break of structure retracement then that retraced move when it enters like an order block confluence anything or fair value gap optimal trade entry then i'll take my trade that's basically my strategy and it has been working like it's, it's a very beautiful trade because you're not going to enter any single trade you're going to take profitable trades like very reasonable trades and not just enter because you think the market is going higher this week has been beautiful because i've been doing the same thing the same trades and i don't take any setup that doesn't create a displacement or break of structure i don't take any trade that doesn't create a sweep of liquidity and i don't take any trade that doesn't retrace so i'm only taking the best of the trades that i can if it's not that good i'm not gonna take it so that's just all my advice to you to anyone and to myself as well is that this is the result of sticking to your plan sticking to one single like thing not risking like crazy amount of money i only risk 25 dollars and i can make 100 150 from 25 dollars this was a 25 dollar trade and i got 150 from it so yeah that's not bad if you can make that constantly all you need to do is just have the right setup just risk small find the best opportunities don't take every single trade Take the best ones don't be risking it anyhow you know take the best trades take the best setups risk small aim high that's the game and when you become profitable you're gonna actually see the results you're gonna know like this is my hard work this is a strategic system and a technique that i implemented to make myself profitable so yeah just be consistent, be disciplined, follow your rules, man. Don't be doing anything. Just follow your trading rules and it's all going to be perfect. So yeah, let's just stay happy. I'm almost funded and I'm going to take it patiently next week as well. Let's just be happy, bro. We're all in this journey together. So yeah, thank you for watching, man. Peace.